Welcome back traders and today we're going to be taking a look at Pacha Risu in the Summer Cup. I'm really enjoying the Summer Cup because it's just fun. All right, so we're going to be pairing it up with Arachnoid as well as Shadow Lapras. Now, Pacha Risu. What about Pacha Risu? It's a regional Pokemon and you're like, man, well, I can't get it, so who cares? Well, you know, one day they're going to actually have it so you can get it too, much like other regionals like they're doing for events, as well as when they do release it shiny because like Heracross... That's going to be interesting, and I'll be able to personally report on if they remove them in the wild like they did for the Heracross, all shady-like. So if you're not familiar with uh, what I'm talking about is, and we'll get into the commentary. Uh, we had an event a while back where Heracross was going to be in raids, and shiny as well. And what they did was remove them from the wild. So if it was native to your area, the regional for your spot, you weren't going to see them in there in the wild until those raids were gone. I think that was to prevent spoofers from getting it, but nonetheless, it's still a scummy kind of a move. <laughs> so I'll be able to tell you if they do that for Pachirisu, probably. And it is going to be a pink regional. So look forward to that. It's definitely good. Something that I do hope they change with it is going to be the fact that it needs something else other than electric charge moves. And it just leaves it dead in the water up against a ground type and you're just not able to do anything. Up against it, another electric, as you can see here, is not that bad because it's kind of a neutral matchup. And, you know, Flash Cannon, you know, it's not really doing anything. Wild Charge is doing some decent damage, but also lowering their stats specifically for this move Wild Charge here. But um, having somebody said Swift definitely could use Swift, and that would be an absolute amazing addition to his moveset. But with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. See, leading with Patris the entire time, I do believe. Met with an Azumarill. Now, it doesn't get any better than this. Well, I guess it can, a Gyarados or a Pelipper. All right, sorry to just randomly interrupt the commentary that I was going to start doing, but I just got a phone call. It was hilarious. Uh, I picked it up, which I was hesitant to because I never really pick up the phone if it's a number I don't know. And if it's private, I never pick up. So I pick it up, and it's a lady, and she just starts talking about whatever situation or some weird thing, I don't know. And she's going on for like 30 seconds, and I, I couldn't get a word in. I'm like, ma'am, 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 ma'am. You got the wrong number. She's like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that, that just happened. Anyways, what's going on with the lick of tongue here? All right, that body slam spam. We're just going to keep going with that bubble beam. A lot of times where you're thinking, you should have went for that bug buzz. I just feel like I like to get in those bubble beams, lure their attack, and then potentially go in here with another Pokemon and farm them down. But in this case, it looks like they're going to retreat with energy to kind of wipe that attack debuff and bring in their Azumarill to catch a bubble beam. And that's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and lower that attack and bring in our own Pachirisu. Now, let's see how much this is going to do. Ice Beam just kind of tickling us here. Very nice. And we're going to go ahead and throw a Thunder Punch here. Let's see how much this is going to do to Azumarill. Okay, very nice. Now, I didn't go for Thunders because I... Kind of wanted to farm down or just go in here with another Pokemon and just farm them down. So we're going to go ahead and let Pachirisu go for now. I know I still have two shields. We're going to bring in Lapras and see if we can farm down with Ice Shard. That's pretty big. They were at a charge move there, so we're able to take them out before they threw a play rough or something like that. And we're loaded up on energy with two shields. They're bringing in Lickitung. This could be potentially a power whip. So we're just, yep, there it is. We're shielding that up. And we're going to try to farm down here. Fantastic. What do you have in the back? It is going to be a Galvantula. Okay. So we're just going to keep throwing these Surfs here. Uh, there's no point in going for a Skull Bash to raise our defense. Let's just keep throwing these Surfs because as soon as we get one through, it is going to be doing a ton of damage. Look at that. Let's go. Getting to the next one here. All that build up energy coming in useful at the end of the battle up against Galvantula, which is super effective to us. So let's take the win there. Moving on. What are we going to see with that Pachi? A Swampert. See, now this is just, I got to get the heck out of here. Bringing in the Arachnoid, and they're going to be swapping into a Vigoroth. Very good Pokemon for the Summer Cup. Very good Pokemon in general, even in the Open Great League. Vigoroth is just a fun Pokemon, normal type with that counter. Like we've said before, and everybody pretty much knows, if a Pokemon does have counter, more than likely it's going to be good in the Go Battle League. I mean, <laughs> it, it's just the way it goes, to some degree, because it's the best move. All right, so we're slowly but surely withering down this Vigoroth. Those body slams are starting, you know, they're spammy, but it's simply not going to be enough. 
plus the not very effective counters that it is dealing to us it is not looking good for that Vigoroth here going for another bubble beam they let it go we bug bite them down great winning this matchup here they're going to be bringing in a talent flame can we get to the bubble beam beautiful now we have two pokemon that can handle this here but talent flame with a bunch of energy is not going to be great for pretty much anything unless you're a rock water type or something all right, so we have lowered their stats. Bring it in the Pachirisu. We can take a Brave Bird. It's not very effective. They go for the Flame Charge. We can take another one, but they're retreating. Resetting that debuff on their Talon Flame and going for the Hydro Cannon. We swap into our Lapras here. Now, we can pull this off. It's getting a little tight, depending upon all the energy that the Talon Flame does have. They do hit me with an Earthquake here, and we're going to go ahead and throw that Surf right back at them, and we're getting the first shield out of them. Now, I'm thinking, man, they're going to farm me all the way down, and yep, they do, and that's not great for me here, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to be pulling this off. Let this go, of course, because we know the Talonflame has energy, we got to shield that up. Knowing that they're not going to be at an Earthquake here, we get the shield and their final one. So the play is to do this. Shield this up and farm them down. We, I think that's the only way to do this, and then go for the Thunder. Uh, and then take the win. I mean, Pachirisu just pulled out all the stops for us here. I mean, it really didn't go crazy, like, any trick shots, but it, it did what it needed to do, and we were still taking the win, and we had a bad lead. Great stuff. Next battle, we're met with a Pidgeot. They're going to be swapping into a Trevenant here, and Trevenant is going to kind of be a little bit of a nuisance for my team. Lapras can handle it to some degree with that Ice Shard, so we do make this swap into our Arachnoid, which I do not know if that was the best idea. Maybe I should have went into Lapras. I think the reason why I did go into Arachnoid is because we saw the Pidgeot, we're Bug-type. So it kind of makes sense to just go ahead and throw the Arachnoid up against this thing so we don't have to go up against that Pidgeot later down the line. Seeing that the Bug Bite is doing decent damage to them. We're looking all right here, hitting us with Shadow Ball. Arachnoid, folks, look, if you don't have one, you should make one. Take advantage of this Bug Out event that's just happening right now with these Bug-types. Because this is just a must-have Pokemon if you do not have enough. So we're lowering their stats. And can we get to another one? This is great. On the other hand, they are going to be getting a bunch of energy. But then again, why does it even really matter how much energy they do have when we have a Pachirisu? And we've lowered their attack. So we're going to go straight for the Thunder Punch. And they catch it with a Diggersby. Okay, that really annoyed me. That was an amazing catch. Very good. But man, I was so annoyed. <laughs> I said out loud, you're not going to win. I'm not going to let you win no matter what. But let's see how this does work out. So they bait me here with that fire punch, which I knew they were going to do. They're just doing it, folks. They're trying to make that win happen. They're not trying. They're going to make it happen, looks like here. So at this point, this is obviously going to be an earthquake. How much is it going to do? A hyper beam. Never mind. I forgot that spice that they did have. Pretty much one-shotting us and bringing in the <laughs> Pidgeot to snipe us. Okay. So they go for the Brave Bird, hitting us with massive damage. And now we're going to have to farm down, folks. Let's get it. Can we take out this Diggers? Be going for the first Thunder. This is not going to be very effective. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. And unfortunately, not able to get there. And they take the win. And the reason why they won is because they caught. See? Bad leads. You still take that win. Just like with our that bug video. I mean, that thing, we got bad leads left and right. I mean, what was, what was up with that? That was insane. Anyways, we had a... Alolan Raichu, and they're going to be swapping after they gain energy and bringing in their Alolan Marowak. We're throwing the Thunder Punch to do some decent damage and then bringing in the Lapras here to do the rest because, well, there was an Electro type up front, best to bring in this. But the thing is, we have another Water type. We're going to be able to throw hard hitting water moves, and that's what we kind of want for that. Bringing in Obstacoon looks like they're going to be farming us down here, but not before we do get to Surf, which I absolutely needed to do. I needed to get in that damage, and we're getting a Shield too, which is even better. Bring it in Arachnoid, super effective bug type moves, and we're going to go ahead and just keep on bug biting them down here and expecting them to swap into their... Actually, they wait a minute. I think they throw a couple of these and then they swap here in a second. Yeah, I was feeling like they were waiting for me to throw my charge move. So I got to be really careful because their Alolan Raichu does have a lot of energy and there it is. Fantastic. Right on time. So what we're going to do, I think we throw a Bubble Beam and then we swap into our Pachirisu. And they do have Grass Knot, so that is going to be a bit of an issue. They actually let that go. That could have been a Bug Buzz. Super effective, so nice call on that. We're letting the Arachnoid go because we do not want to use our last shield. Bring it in, Pachirisu. At the start of the show, let's see if we're going to be able to pull this one off. 100% IV, level 51. And we're going for the Thunder Punch. They let it go. Let's see how much this is going to do. Oh, we shield up that Grass Knot. That's right. Now we need to kind of farm them down. But unfortunately, that ain't happening. Is this going to be a Thunder Punch? 
Beautiful. That's all it's going to be doing. Not much at all. Bringing into that obstacle and going for the Thunder and Pachirisu, or Thunder Punch. Yeah, got to get that shield first. Now we go for the Thunder. This is not going to be enough to take us out here. Pachirisu is a little tank, quite literally, quite literally. All right. Look at this thing. A little squirrel taking the win. Let's go. Loving it. Moving on to our next battle, leading with that Pachirisu. What are we going to see in the beginning of Trevenant? That is absolutely horrific for us. Swapping into the Lapras. Kind of like a, a spur-of-the-moment decision to make at that time. Just like a Lapras or Arachnoid. Lapras, I suppose, in this case here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Shield up the first Seed Bomb. And they're letting the Surf go. And we're taking them down at the expense of a Shield. And they're bringing in their own Wall Rain here. Which we got a Water versus Ice-type battle going on. And we're going to go for our... Skull Bash to raise the defense and do a ton of damage. They let it go. What are they holding on to those shields for? Are they trying to do the defeat Pokey AK and hold on to your shields challenge or something? Who knows? But that doesn't mean we're not going to use our shields. We're absolutely going to. And letting this go as well. And it is actually enough to take us out, which surprised me. We were able to farm down the wall ring with our Pachirisu. And they got a Talon Flame in the back. Bad days for them here. Pachirisu is on a mission. Getting that first shield with the Thunder Punch. Remember, we're electric resisting flying, so it's going to be within the best interest to keep going for the flame charge. Although they could throw you off one time. I mean, you know, they go for a flame charge and then a brave bird, which is going to do a ton. Although it would probably just be best to keep going flame charge. Anyways, we're bringing the Arachnoid into the battle here just to give us a little bit of cushion space. Make them, you know, use their energy and all that good stuff. Lower their stats. And finish them off with the Pachi at the end. Moving on to our next battle here. If you haven't hit that like button, make sure you do, folks. I really appreciate it. We're met with a Pidgeot. Okay, got that ice in the middle. And we're seeing that flying in the front. They're going to be swapping into a Vigoroth. Now, I don't know what in the heck it, it was going on with me today. But I was a little slow in the swaps. I was a little bit like just throwing moves. Like, I guess, you know, we're doing a little bit of extra damage. So we can take out this uh, Vigoroth a little bit easier here. But, I don't know, I feel like I kind of misplayed today. But it doesn't really matter. Still have some good battles here. So they're going to town with that Body Slam because we, well, stayed in the battle long enough for them to gain all that energy with the Pachirisu. And they're going to go ahead and lower their stats. At this point, we can just Bug Bite them down and then lower these stats with Bubble Beam for whatever they do bring in next. Woo, barely able to finish that one off here. Very nice. And they're bringing in that Pidgeot. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Bubble Beam. Lower their stats, and they're able to get a couple of those in to gain some energy, which is not the best, but that's okay. Bringing in Pachirisu. Pidgeot kind of has the same issue as Pachirisu, and that's going to be all the same types. They're <laughs> just flying. It's like, come on, give it a little diversity here. So they have a Shadow Victory Bell in the back, which I got a little nervous, like, ooh, I don't know if this is going to be possible right now. All right, so we have two shields still, folks, and that Razor Leaf is not resisted by the Pachi. It's doing normal damage, and they freaking get off an acid. As soon as that happened, I was like, ooh, I got to stop that Razor Leaf, and I did. The damage didn't go through as long as I KO. Beautiful. And can we take out this Pidgeot? I'm not going to make it to Thunder. It ain't happening. Or Thunderbolt. So we go for Thunder Punch. Not enough. We have a freaking double KO. <laughs> hey, hey, well played on my opponent's end. Even if I had a misplay, you had a bad lead, you still pulled that. Double KO. Still good. All right, so we had a great lead up against Jellison. We're going to be swapping into our... Well, they swap into Mad Cargo when we bring in our Lapras. And this is a good matchup here. Shielding up that Rock Doom because it's super effective. Plus Stab, plus we're Shadow. We want to stay in this fight here, expecting them to probably shield up, shield up as well. And that they did. Do they want a double shield? That'd be kind of odd. Yeah, they let that go. Okay, great. We're winning that matchup. They have one shield, so do we. And they're bringing in the Jellicent, which I figured they were going to do. Now, here's a little bit of a problem, but at the same time, check out the damage here. This is going to be pretty good. So, yeah, it, not, it doesn't look like much, but if they really want to farm up a bunch here, we're going to be able to at least dig in a decent amount, and that we did. All right, so we're obviously going to be bringing in Pachirisu. They know that. They immediately swap, and they got in a bomb of snow in the back. So, our Bug Bite is super effective. Bug Buzz as well, obviously. And we do have Bubble Beam if they call it it's not going to be doing much but lowering their stats hitting us with the energy ball which is not super effective but doing a lot on top of the abomas note being shadow it is a force to be reckoned with for sure so we're going to go ahead and let this go here okay it's going to take us out bringing in pachirisu and we're going to have to put all our hope in it I, I was doing that quite a few times today it's very reliable so long as you know that there's not a ground type in the back 
you're going to be able to t take care of quite a bit with this thing. I'm telling you what, you already know. You can see it right here. So we're going to go for the Thunder Punch. They ha still have one shield, so obviously going to be using it here. They can't have any sort of wiggle room to let it go. We get to another Thunder Punch, and this should be enough to KO. Pachirisu yet again, pulling off the wins. Okay, I saw the end of this this battle here. I was like, it seems like it should be ending sooner, but yep, that lag there. Oh, and by the way, oh, crazy little matchup here. But uh, I want to tell you folks, um, Go Battle League is completely busted. It's not like it's at its worst state, but it's definitely not at its best. Any people out there telling you, oh, it's not broken. No, it is. It's very broken. And I'm the reason why I'm saying this right now is because I'm not pointing out all of the little issues that are happening to me during these battles. Because for one, it's at a time two speed. Once I get my momentum going for the battles, it's kind of a little bit annoying to just start focusing on the little things here. I'm sure you enjoy me keeping it fluid and doing the commentary here and not just picking out every little lag issue that happens, right? And I don't even notice them at times. So I just want to bring that up. It's not like, oh, it's so smooth. He never talks about the lag or anything. Oh, it's all happening. Missing quick moves, opponents stopping, them missing quick moves, me taking them out because of it, them taking me out because of it. The whole shebang, you already know. But I just want to let you know real quick, it's not at a good state at all. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go for a surf up against that Galvantula. This is kind of like a little bit of a deja vu situation, but I think the Galvantula is going to be able to take this revenge or not. Going for a lunge. Yeah, it didn't quite. Kind of went down with a, with a nice sting there. And they're shielding it up. We got the Arachnoid in the back. There's really no way the Swamper can win unless they had a ton of energy and Sludge Wave. Uh, even then, I don't know if they could pull it off, but nonetheless, we're in a winning position here. I'm telling you what, every time I see Arachnoid from, this, from the back, it always looks like a Hitmon top, like a, like a face hugger got in, into a Hitmon top, and this is the freaking product here. You know how a face hugger can change into all kinds of different Xenomorphs depending upon what it takes over. Man, they could make so many cool movies based on that. Could you imagine? Damn, like a... I don't want to get all stupid, but like a dinosaur, <laughs> dinosaur xenomorph sounds like a nightmare. But all I see is that when I look at Arachnoid. If you look at it from the back, it looks like a hit montage head split. Little graphic there, but I just, you know, everybody's desensitized. Who cares? All right, so we bring in uh, Lapras. We're just in a horrible position. What was going on? Well, we got to still put up the good fight and see what we can do here. And Pachirisu can't do jack squat for us in this position. As a matter of fact... That Stun Fisk has a massive resistance to the electric because it is electric and ground. So electric has a resistance and then ground, so yeah, not great. Uh, Arachnoid's going to be taking super effective from the electric, so Lapras is the final fight here. Don't think we want to use our last shield, though, because we can bring in Arachnoid and start farming up with the Bug Bite, and we can take a charge move or two because this thing is extremely tanky. Just simple as that. Let's see how much this does discharge. Not bad. They can't even take us out with two. So they have two electric types, though. So <laughs> we swap into our Pachirisu as soon as they bring back that Galvantula. Going for a Thunder. Not very effective, but still doing a decent amount. They've got no more shields left. I think we're going to have to shield this up. Hitting me with a lunge and lowering our attack. And this is going to obviously do less here, and it's not very effective. Can we pull it off? Down goes the Galvantula. And, of course, they're bringing in that Stun Fisk. They're going to be able to get to a Mud Bomb, and we're out of here. Pachirisu cannot take this, I don't think. And down it goes. Very nice. Arachnoid farming down. What you got in the back is coming down to this. A Swamper. Oh, Polyrath. Oh, oh, it's this fight. Well, this is going to be the last fight here, folks. A nice, good, close battle. Who's going to be able to pull this one off? What charge move do they have? Wait, did they already throw? Okay, Dynamic Punch. There you go. So... A one more, plus a couple of quick moves. It's getting quite close, going for a bug buzz. Getting them into the red, they get to a charge move. I think you already know who's going to win this, but still a fun, close battle. Thank you for watching, folks. Hope you did enjoy it, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.
<laughs> hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! 